What's up everybody, King of FOMO here, coming at you with your daily crypto update. Make sure you follow me over there on Telegram, it's t.me slash kingoffomo1, as well as my chat, which is going to be linked in the description below. Not a whole lot going on in the DeFi space today. The Uniswap coin has indeed dropped, and I, I felt like that was going to happen sometime soon, so reality is probably going to be hitting people in the face before it starts to parabolically rise again. I don't think this is the end of the story for the Uniswap token. Um, and as far as the rest of DeFi, the state of DeFi is looking pretty, pretty grim not grim today but but not as as green as we've seen some other days but nonetheless i do have something to talk about we will talk about a lot of stuff in this video i'll get into some passive private platforms but the main thing i want to cover today is this coin right here called the meme coin now i've been looking at this on and off for the past couple of weeks and i knew what it did i knew that people were hyping it up but it's a coin that deals with nfts or non-fungible tokens which means that they're tokens that do not change in value they stay the same value no matter matter what uh, and I'll show you what those what that means in a second but generally whenever I see the word nft in crypto uh, I just I groan I'm like what is the point of this this is completely worthless this is useless nobody should be buying this this has no use case in crypto and I, sometimes whenever I have that feeling then I just jump in and I do it anyway because a lot of times the things that you least expect the things that you least understand end up being really really you know helpful and, and profitable and good later on sometimes so that's what i'm doing with the meme token and, and so far i mean it has kind of broken my expectations in, the, in terms of the value of the token it's gone from about uh you know this is the 14 day chart from 68 dollars all the way up to where it is right now about 764 dollars i think it's it's uh, all-time low was about six dollars and 37 cents so this thing has multiplied it dramatically uh if you're buying this thing now just be extra careful this is in the red zone in terms of uh should you be buying it because it's it's over pumped in my opinion uh but nonetheless it's, it doesn't have a huge huge market cap so it can go up even higher uh keep that in mind there's only twenty-eight thousand supply so that's one of the reasons why it is seven hundred dollars at the current moment so let's take a look at what this coin does let's take a look at the website this is don't buy meme.com so i'm going to go to the home page right here and uh, just like you know most of the other extremely super hot successful DeFi projects like YFI and Ampleforth this one included sushi swap they always say that this is an experiment an experimental and the experiment usually ends up being an extremely successful experiment where it goes parabolically and extremely profitable in the long run so whenever I see the word experiments I get a little excited uh, if it is something new um, so again they say don't buy don't farm don't join telegram because they're trying to tell you that this the coin isn't worth anything which is the whole thing that I said in the beginning nfts are worthless in my opinion and they're kind of uh, playing at playing at that right there saying that this is not worth anything this is kind of an experiment but nonetheless get let's get right into it of course you can buy it by clicking right here on the uniswap icon you can farm it by clicking right here on the don't farm icon and uh you can either do the uniswap liquidity pool tokens or the genesis the genesis depositing this just the meme token so that's what i did so let's go ahead and select this now this is what nfts are or non-fungible tokens basically you're buying this artwork so if you want this picture of sergey nazarov then you can buy this picture of sergey nazarov and you can be one of 100 people to own this token or this uh piece of crypto artwork that's what an nft is now what is it valued at it's valued at whatever people want to buy it at so if somebody wants to buy it for 15 cents then it's worth 15 cents if somebody wants to buy it for 700 dollars, then it's worth 700 dollars. so that's what nfts are uh, you can put them up for sale if you like the reason why you would buy them is because you want the piece of artwork from the person and you kind of want to be a sort of a collector of nfts or maybe you think that you can flip the uh, nft for a higher price uh, later on down the line you can if maybe you think that it's cheap right now because there's only so much minted It'll be expensive later when this thing, you know, once more artworks comes out uh, and people are like, where's the old Sergey picture? And they want to buy that one. So uh, if you want to equate it to something in real life, it's I don't I don't know what my age demographic of my viewers are, but I'm going to talk about like Pokemon cards, generation one Pokemon cards, your your shiny Charizards and your shiny Venusaurs. Those uh, cards are extremely rare right now and can be sold for hundreds of hundreds of dollars. And they were pretty common back in the I guess the 90s when Pokemon cards first came out. Same deal with NFTs. Uh, uh, you know in terms of, of holding them but also it can work like beanie babies where those things were uh, super cheap then they got really expensive then they got super cheap again which is generally what happens with nfts they do become essentially worthless later on down the line when people stop using like if people stop using the meme token then all this stuff will likely be useless and you can't sell it so you might have bought a 10 ethereum uh 
worth picture of Sergei Nazarov or Vitalik Buterin, and you can't sell it for 0.1 Ethereum later on down the line if you wait too long to be able to sell these things. So that's how it works. Uh, so actually selling these products, you can actually go to OpenSea. Now, I'm not going to give you a tutorial on how to do this because I actually haven't done this yet, uh, but you can list your your uh, cards here when you get them, and you can also buy cards. So if you want to buy one from somebody else directly, maybe you think that this is a good price and you can flip it later on down the line for three Ethereum, then go ahead and buy that up as early as possible. So let me go back here to this right here. And uh, so what you can do is, like I said, you can purchase your memes. I just purchased five of these things. Again, these bad boys are super expensive. Be extra careful, guys. Uh, and then what you can do is I can manage this stake right here. Once you approve your tokens, you can stake a maximum, I think, of five meme tokens. And I think that gets, that's going to give you roughly one credit a day. Maybe it's five credits a day if you're st staking five, but I think that we'll see what happens in the next day in, in terms of how much I'm earning with this. Uh, so five Five tokens a day let's just say that uh, and uh, the tokens that you're earning are pineapples and you can purchase uh, different things with your pineapples so let's just say that you need 10 pineapples to buy this vitalic buterin right here you need to wait two days to actually purchase this uh, nft and then you can sell it later on down the line uh, but if you don't want to wait that long you can wait you know half a day to buy this meme grail token and there's less there's more of these things but you know 900 936 963,000 left or 9,635 left and you know you guys can kind of value these things on your own but again personally I'm not a big fan of NFTs they just don't they don't make sense to me but again that's that's the reason why I'm doing it so that's the that's the uh the genesis mining with just the meme you can also stake if I go back here to the liquidity pool and if you're staking uh, uh, uh meme tokens with uniswap ethereum liquidity pool tokens uh, I think this gives you more. How much does this give you? So this gives you staking this much tokens gets, grants you one credit per day. Uh, so I'm, I'm guessing this gives you a little bit more. I can't really do the the exchange rate for Uniswap people tokens, how much they're worth. But uh, I'm assuming you're getting more from this and you can get more pineapples on a daily basis and get some of these tokens as well. These are a little bit more expensive. If you're going to be purchasing some of these bad boys, you can see that there's only like 10 of these YFI Syndicate Andre Crone J cards. And so on and so forth so there's really two ways to go about this it's buying the meme token farming these pineapples and uh getting these uh, nft cards and then selling them later on down the line or option two is to just go straight away and get the nft cards from uh the other website what's the website called here from uh, OpenSea, buy them and then sell them all later on down the line or option C is just collect the cards because you're a collector of this artist. You like the artwork and you don't plan on selling them later on down the line. So that's up to you. So that's the meme token. I just wanted to introduce you guys to that. Uh, next up, let's talk about a lot of other crypto stuff going on. I am still farming the Uniswap token, even though this thing is indeed dumping. Like I said, I do think that it's going to rebound eventually. So let's go back to CoinGecko. I think it's one of the top losers today. Like Unlike the other video, it was a top gainer. Down 15% uh, at five dollars and 71 cents i think it'll correct to maybe like two dollars and then once they start announcing stuff with the uniswap token and once people stop uh, dumping then we'll see some movement upwards again so i did sell all of mine and i'm just farming now and i will look for another buy-in opportunity later <laughs> All right, so that's the Uniswap token. I'm still also farming Swerve, so we're, we're going to talk about passive profits next. So these are the only two farms that I'm doing to get passive profits, Swerve and the Uniswap token, and it's working out pretty nicely. I'm just waiting for Swerve to go up in value before I claim this and sell this. I really haven't been selling because gas prices weren't worth um, what I earned so far, and uh, now it is, but uh, it, the coins are not worth what what i think they should be so i'll just wait um next up we'll talk about passive profit platforms like pgi global cash fx group and battalion these are my big three um these are listed in the link tree below if you guys get interested in checking these things out and again uh when we have like orange days like this where crypto is just moving real sideways and doesn't really do anything or even red days uh, these platforms really keep me afloat and like if i'm being transparently honest with you guys these platforms make a whole lot more than DeFi does for me just because uh, i uh, am pretty pretty much a marketer and i'm able to make a lot from network marketing this but at the same time it's not like i stopped network marketing this and it's still doing really well for me with just the trading um, so just to show you guys the trading uh, i can't show you guys what the trades were for cash fx group it was around about 1.2 uh, three or four percent uh, every day this week for the past five days uh, for about you know the 70k that I have in here 
So um, just to show you guys, I just did a $18,000 withdrawal from here, and that's with com combining everything with the marketing side of things and the trading side of things uh, with CashFX Group. And again, one of the things I want to point out is that if I can trade and do really, really good, then these companies that have professional traders should be able to do the same thing, which is one of the reasons why I do these uh, platforms, because I don't have time to trade every single day. I do have a full-time job instead. Uh, but this $18,000 withdrawal, withdrawal should hit my wallet within a day or two, and um, you know it's been working out nicely for a very long time. You can see this is all the way back uh, August 1st uh, when I did some withdrawals from here, and I got about close to the same amount on August 4th. So been working out nicely in cash fx group uh same with pgi global uh, now before i go move on i know a lot of people always say it looks like bitconnect that's like the favorite line of people who don't understand anything at all they just like to call things bitconnect so let's just take a look at the bitconnect chart and i want to make a comparison so bitconnect this is what happened with bitconnect as i'm sure you guys all remember this is a platform a passive profit platform that paid you out in bitconnect coins uh on a daily basis certain percentage per day and uh the price of the bitconnect coin rose pair Parabolically from about uh, what is this uh, one, you know, 17 cents all the way up to like 200, 300, 400 dollars, and then it all of a sudden crashed because it was a Ponzi scheme and they decided to sell everything and it was a giant, giant mess back in 2018. So that's what happened with BitConnect. Uh, now the difference between BitConnect and these platforms, just because I'm uh, I'm not tired of hearing it because I know I'm going to keep hearing it, but the difference between BitConnect and these platforms is the fact that BitConnect pays you out in a coin that they controlled 100. percent That's the reason why it crashed so incredibly incredibly hard because bitconnect controlled the entire exchange for with all the coins and they sold all the coins before they decided we're not going to pay anybody anymore and they shut down the platform with these platforms like pgi global cash fx group and battalion they're paying you out in uh bitcoin so it's completely different it's not like they can crash bitcoin and bring the price of bitcoin down to zero uh if they have any trading issues then you know that is something that happens with some of these companies and they will let you know but at the same time they're not going to be doing any crazy stuff where people are becoming multi-millionaires because the price of the coin goes up and they're compounding and doing all this stuff which is completely and totally unsustainable but when they're actually trading, like I said, if I can make trading profits over the past couple of weeks and get, you know, 2x, 3x, 10x, these companies can do the same thing. They're not promising crazy returns to people. Sometimes they can do really good returns here as well. So with PGI Global, I'm doing like this today, I'm doing about an or soon. Uh, this week, I'm going to be able to do about a $6,000 withdrawal or maybe an $11,000 withdrawal. I'm going to pick one of those two numbers. But in the past week or so, or in the past couple of months, this is in July 13th, I've gotten a bunch of funds withdrawn from here. All of these have hit my wallet and I haven't had any issues with these. Uh, the largest amount that I've withdrawn from here in uh, PGI Globals, so let's just check the cash out from the largest amount, about 18K again back in July 27th. That's when I kind of went two weeks without withdrawing and I just kind of built it up in here. Battalion, same thing. They have a lot of going on and these guys all have people running these platforms. You guys can look up a lot of videos about this stuff. But again, the links are in my link tree below if you guys want to check these out, if you want to spread your feelers out to different spots in the crypto world and diversify like myself if you're tired of just doing uniswap coins and being stuck on the days like this where there's not that much to do uh, there are sometimes uh, sour grapes <laughs> with these passive profit platforms i can make some misses with them so like this is one of them nexums and we'll, we can talk about this in a separate video because this is kind of getting long but nexums is has become a complete and total scam because this is one where i i trusted them i was like you know what i'll give it a shot and they paid out just like in bitconnect they paid out in eth plus tokens and that chart looks like crazy let me show you guys let me show you guys the eth plus chart this is a manipulated chart we can talk about this all kinds of ways but this is this is 100 percent manipulation this is 100 percent the developer is just killing the coin on purpose so this is eth plus let's look at the one month chart and you can see like if whenever you have a vertical lines on your chart that's that's like a million dollar sell order each time so this is this is somebody who is controlling the market and just selling a million dollars worth of time every time they wake up uh, we can talk about that in a separate video as well uh, but i do want to end there there's a lot more that i want to talk about i wanted to get into some of the things like passive expert i wanted to get into ether chain to interstellars to tron chain there's another thing like tron chain coming out soon i think it's called tron 3x um there's also another platform called moon day people wanted to talk about i'm not really talking about any pre-sales um but this is the one that's launching tomorrow, so you guys can look at Moon Day if you want to. They have a Medium article here as well. But this video is getting a little too long. You know what you guys are getting a little bored. You can't listen to me for that long. Definitely check out Meme, the meme token. Uh, I'm not saying buy it. Again, this thing is pumped to high heck. 
at you know upwards of 2,000 percent in the past 30 days can't go higher maybe but of course uh i'm gonna be i'm just testing it out because again like i said i hate these things with a the passion they're just they just don't make any sense to me and that's why i'm doing it because i like to walk in places that i don't understand all right guys that's everything for today i'll catch you in the next video like comment subscribe peace out